Okay, we're going to go ahead and install Safari. Go ahead and read the terms of agreement. Click accept. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple and just install Safari and none of the other plugins. Now the main reason I'm installing Safari on here is because I don't have a browser that's compatible with MobileMe. Uh, if you can get on MobileMe and it's it already you know it lets you um, open up MobileMe and doesn't say you don't have an incomplete browser, you don't have to do this step. I'm just kind of going. This is uh, an XP machine service pack two right out of the box, uh, so I'm just kind of showing you step by step how I would go about this. So now we're going to go back to me.com and you can see it. it loads up there. Alright, so if I wanted to I could just go ahead and access MobileMe just like uh, I was on the uh, the Mac and uh, pretty much everything works the same. Okay, now that we've had Safari installed go ahead and launch it. Now there's a place on the Apple website that allows you to download the MobileMe control panel and what that control panel will do allow you to synchronize and set your synchronization settings with your mobile me account so I've already got the shortcut here I'll, I'll put that in the show notes click download it's not as easy to find as I thought it would be so I'm gonna go ahead and save to the desktop all right so I'm gonna close these I'll go ahead and load this click run now I know what's going to happen, okay, because I've done this before, is it says it requires iTunes 8.0 to be installed first. So we'll go ahead and click finish. And now we'll go to iTunes. Uh, iPod iTunes. Download iTunes. Download now. I don't need to be emailed, I already get the emails. So click download now, and it should download automatically for the Windows version. Okay, so iTunes has fully downloaded. I'll go ahead and install that. All right, so iTunes is now installed. So now we can go ahead and try to install MobileMe again. All right, so here's what the mobile me uh, control panel looks like. Uh, click learn more. It does the same thing. It pulls up a place where you can read more about it off the internet. Uh, you can type in your member name and password here. All right, here it shows my account details. Uh, sync. So I can say sync with mobile me. Since I already had it uh, synchronized once before, it asked me if I wanted to use the same computer name or a different computer name. And I said, uh, go ahead and use the same. I'm going to say, go ahead and show me in system tray and warn me when more than 5% of the data has changed. I want to go ahead and, ch and uh, sync automatically. Contacts, calendars, and I want uh, bookmarks into Safari. So I click uh, sync now. That should synchronize everything. All right, here uh, basically it's asking me what I want to do if I want to merge the data, replace the data on MobileMe with the data from here, or replace the data on the computer with the data from MobileMe. I'm going to say replace everything on the computer with from MobileMe. Uh, basically, I made MobileMe the master, so anything that's different gets overwritten. If you click merge a lot, you might actually end up getting duplicate uh, calendar and contacts. It's kind of a pain to clean up. I've done that before. Uh, Dot Mac was notorious for the uh, quarterly nuking of your data. You basically had to go in and wipe out all your data and resync uh, for it to be stable. Uh, MobileMe hasn't been too bad, um, other than a few user issues that I had. That was just uh, basic uh, stupidity on my part. I haven't had any issues with MobileMe really. Okay, we are done syncing, so I'm going to close that, and I'm going to open up Outlook. Uh, we haven't sunk the email yet. You actually have to do something else. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. 
for calendars here, you can see I've got birthdays. I've got, uh, let's see here, um, team calendar and uh, Outlook. So you can see that my calendars have all sunk up. Uh, contacts as well have sunk. So now all we have to do is email and I'll show you how to do that in the next segment. Also I wanted to show you that the uh, bookmarks have uh, synced as well from my MacBook. All right, uh, to set up your exchange, you're gonna have to go to this website, apple.com slash mobileme slash setup slash PC. And we're going to make this a window. And I'm gonna show you how to set up uh, exchange so you can pull your uh, email from mobileme. Now this will not work with a computer on exchange server just so you know. Alright, so go to Tools, Email Accounts, Add New Email Account. It'll be IMAP. Your name. Your email address. Uh, I have a me.com and a mac.com. I usually use the mac.com. Uh, they ported over all the old users. If you were to get a new user now, you could only use me.com. So the IMAP server is mail.me.com. And the SMTP server is smtp.me.com. Put in my password down here. And then click on the more settings. And it says outgoing server. You want to click on this and use the same settings as my incoming mail server. This means that if for any email you send, you have to authenticate out. They don't use an anonymous SMTP relay. Uh, click OK. Click Next. Finish. And you'll see down here, I am now syncing with my mobile me. So there you go. Now here are my emails in my mobile me account. All right, so if you wanted to mount your iDisk as an external drive like you have on your Mac, it's pretty easy. You just go to my computer, go to tools, map network drive, uh, leave it as Z. You can change the letter there if you want. Then it's HTTP iDisk.me.com slash username and then click connect to using a different username and then put in your password there click finish alright so after a couple of seconds there you go it's mapped so now there's your iDisk and the demo folder with the picture I put inside so there you have it, uh, MobileMe on Windows XP.